show off a couple of things in my possession that are Mighty the Armadillo. The interesting thing about Mighty is that he was in a very old Sonic arcade game and made his reappearance again in Knuckles Chaotix. And then he was not seen for a very long time, even though Sonic Heroes decided to revive Team Chaotix. Poor Mighty did not get the, make the cut. But he did come back in Sonic Mania as part of Sonic Mania Plus with Ray the Flying Squirrel, where he was originally seen in that Sonic arcade game. So the cool thing about Mighty being back in games is that merchandise of him is being made again and sold. So this here is a Mighty the Armadillo plush. Yeah, it's approximately seven inches tall. It's not very big, but it is super cute. I mean, look at those ridiculously tiny legs. And lots of nice detail with the embroidery on this. The eyes are embroidered as well. The stitching on his ears also adds nice detail. And the overall shape of the plush is pretty impressive, especially when you're talking about smaller plushes. It's very difficult to make it work. I would know. I've made a few plushes myself. But he does have his original hang tag. Just a bunch of herbage on the inside. Nothing fun or special. Although you can see that it is made by Jax Pacific. And they've been making a lot of stuff that's Sonic related recently. There's their logo. Uh, lots of cool stuff coming out by Jax right now and in the past. So if you're a collector, I would recommend checking them out. Also have a action figure that I I bought. I wasn't expecting it to be so big. It's actually like pretty tall, like five inches tall. So this is a nicely sized figure. I really like the the item box. You can see the detail on it. It makes it look like a real CRT with with the screen distortion on there. It's fantastic. Again, made by Jax. His nose is so fucking long. I don't understand why. <laughs> Apparently he's just the Sonic character with the longest nose or something. But yeah. You can mostly see him through the plastic. I didn't notice they, uh, they tell you all about that he has 11 points of articulation, which is done pretty well. You can see he has some joints in his legs. A lot of the articulated figures actually look like ass, so this one doesn't, and that's, that's really great. You can see that his arms move, and that his legs move, and I guess that his, his feet rotate a little bit there. And currently they have all these out. I only have the one because it's unique. So I try to decide what to spend my money on. And I really felt that a mighty action figure was unique enough that I wanted to have it in my collection. I hope that they make some Ray merchandise soon. I haven't seen any yet. It'd be really cool to have a plush of him or an action figure of him. Especially considering he's only been in the arcade and the most recent Sonic Mania.